Hello guys, Talkie Doki here and today we have a new keyboard up for review. This is the Epo Maker RT100. Before we begin, this unit is sent over by Epo Maker for an honest review. And as usual, take everything that I say with a grain of salt. This is a very subjective hobby. So let's start. This is probably one of the most interesting keyboards that Epo Maker has sent me. And it it it's a bit weird in a very unique way, but surprisingly, surprisingly, everything fits together. And I'm actually loving this keyboard. This is the Epo Maker RT100. It's a 1800 layout keyboard, meaning it has the function row and the numpad. Perfect for those wanting a numpad. All right, uh, it's gasket mounted. It's completely built out of the box. It has a lot of colorway that you can choose from, minus the retro white, which surprisingly looks good. You also have an option for the pink, really nice too. Deep gray, not so much my type. A green colorway, which is also nice, and a purple colorway. Actually, they're all really nice. Um, surprisingly, for a keyboard that is sent by Epo Maker, this is, I think, the first one that they were sent that I was like, oh, it was a bit surprising. Not the typical, not the usual out of the box. Aside from the High65 V2, which is a collab with Create Keeps, this one, really, I find it really cute and interesting. Uh, it also comes with several switch options. This one I got with a Seasalt Silent Switch, and though I'm not a fan of the linear switches, I could tell you that these switches are nice, very smooth, uh, only downside is silent, so not really a fan of that. But for a silent switch, surprisingly, I, I, I enjoyed using this for quite some time. Uh, there are also other great choices in the lineup. You can choose these switches with the Wisteria switch, the Gatron Pro Yellow, the Flamingo, and the Shadow Black switches. Um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the Flamingos are really good. I uh, haven't tried the Wisteria and the Sh Black Shadow, so can't comment on that. All right, now for the interesting part. Why is this uh, keyboard really interesting for me? Uh, first of all, the first thing that I noticed was the knob. I uh, really love the knob. Aside from the light and the glow it has, the knob has a little bit of um, click on it when you use it, which is not common in the knobs that they use and keyboards that I've tried before. And surprisingly, this small guy over here, I find it really cute and really interesting. This keyboard has a small TB that connects in a USB-C hub on this part of the keyboard. And it's really nice. Uh, it displays certain information. Um, right now, it's simply telling me the time, the temperature, the CPU performance usage. But according to manual, you can download the program, which you can configure it. I haven't done that yet, but it looks really awesome and really cute. All right. Um, other features that might want to consider when getting this keyboard. Uh, it's gasket mounted, it has tri-mode connectivity which is really nice, south facing LEDs and backlight which are really good as well. Um, the design of this keyboard is really nice on the side profile, I love it, I love the side profile of this keyboard. Uh, not Again, not your typical budget keyboard, uh, I love that ergonomic angle over there. This come with uh, two level of adjustment feet so that you can adjust the feet to your heart's desire. I love that uh, you have your on and off button and your Mac and Windows button right here as well. So you don't have to, to, to touch the sides and guess what you're pressing. You can easily see it when you're shifting from battery mode, from Mac and Windows mode and different levels of connectivity. And that's, that's really nice. This kit with the Sea Salt Silent Switch comes in at $115 and there's an automatic discount of 5% when you get it off Epo Maker's website, bringing down the price to $110. What do I think about that pricing for what you're getting at 2023? I think it's a fair deal. Um, keyboards have improved so much this year that it's really good for most consumers because before to be able to get an a proper led screen a proper knob the price range would 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 jump up to around uh 200 dollars or maybe 180 150 dollars and now we're getting it at the near 100 level dollar and something sometimes even lower all right uh yes it's not aluminum it's not an aluminum kit um but no problems with that i have no problems with that uh, the keycaps are also really good. The keycaps go in at 1.5 millimeter thickness. These are MDA profile 
PBT keycaps not my cup of tea the profile but for what it is I really love it I really like it all right uh, who's this keyboard for um, this keyboard might be for those wanting to jump into the hobby don't want to build your custom keyboard it's a nice keyboard out of the box for those who don't want it um, loud you can really check the sea salt switches the stabilizers are good out of the box uh, a little bit of rattling on the space bar which i think would be very easy to fix as this are plate mounted stabilizers very easy to tune them um 105 dollars i'm not complaining nothing to nothing bad to say about this keyboard really a good offering from epo maker do consider checking this keyboard out all right so thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.